Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to our age tutorials. Today we're going to turn something like this into a nice topograph and this works with basically anywhere in the world if you don't have this information available from other sites. So to begin, it's really simple. We just need to open up Google Earth Pro. I'll provide a download link in the description, but this is a totally free program and we're just going to go and Google the place that we want to go to. So for example, um, for tutorial we're gonna do our beautis ridge uh, which is one of the places in my hometown that is a little bit uh, hilly which will work out perfectly for this example so say we want to extract just uh, a little bit of area here maybe these couple blocks and we want to take the topo from here in order to do a future project or something like that we can go up here to the add path which is right here and you can name this path uh, whatever you really like. Uh, so I'm gonna just name it Arbutus Ridge. Oh, not Arbus Ridge, Arbutus Ridge. And you can change the style and color, but I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, you can simply ignore this table, just make sure you don't close it before we draw the area. So if I want uh, this area here that I, you can see I have basically outlined, what I'm gonna do is basically try to draw as many points along this path as possible. Uh, now obviously the more path you have the more accurate this information will be. And you want to do this uh, the other side as well so make a nice waffle shape. Uh, just make sure you don't click on the little red dots otherwise it'll manipulate it in a way that you don't really want. So try to click in between the spaces and you don't have to be too precise about the other one coming uh, horizontally just because you have all these data points already. So go ahead and do this as well. All right, and now once we have everything completed, we can go ahead here and just click OK on our new path. And here it'll show up on the left here under places. So what we're gonna do is right click on Arbutus Ridge and go ahead and save the place as a KML file. So I'm gonna go ahead and just save it on my desktop uh, for ease of access, but you can save it anywhere you really want. All right, so the next step is going into Google and searching up GPS visualizer. And this is basically the first result that comes up, which is the GPS uh, visualizer.com. And we're gonna need to want to add elevation data into our KML file. So we're gonna hit convert to GPX right here. Uh, so for the upload file, make sure we put in the KML file that we just extracted from Google Earth. And then make sure down here where it says add DEM elevation data, you switch it to either best available source, or if you know that you want to use any of these, you can uh, just click on one of these. But usually the best available source will, uh, as he says, give you the best available uh, information. So we're gonna hit convert here and just wait for a little bit. So it's gonna say that it's been converted to a GPX, which is perfect. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and just download this. Now, after you've downloaded this, we're going to move into the next step. Okay, now that we have everything converted, we're gonna head into ArcMaps. If you guys don't have ArcMaps, there's a 21 down, uh, day free trial that I'll put in the description. Uh, otherwise, you can also use QGIS, which I've never personally used, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. It is uh, a free program compared to ArcMaps, which is not. So we're gonna go ahead and just open a blank map on ArcMap and then go into our toolbox here. It might look different on your screen, uh, but you can also access it up here in the toolbar. And we're just gonna go into the conversion tools. So down here in the conversion tool, we're gonna scroll to from GPS and then hit the GPX to features tab. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Arbutus Ridge GPX. Um, so that depends on where you saved it from where we just converted it on the website. And we are going to just simply output it to default. Uh, just give it a sec here. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and output it to um, our Vegas Ridge, a folder that I made. And we're just gonna name this um, features. Okay, and we're just gonna hit okay and let ArcMap do its thing. All right, so once we have all the data here, we're gonna go into our spatial analysis tool. And then down here at interpolation, we're gonna use the IDW tool, which is the inverse distance weighted interpolation, uh, I believe. So we're gonna double click on that. And then input is our features, which is all these uh, dots here. 
and we're gonna use the elevations Z value field. Uh, now you can also output the raster wherever you like, uh, but this is going to be an elevation map. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna hit okay here, and it's gonna generate kind of like a heat map uh, for elevation here for us. Now you can see that all the values are here, uh, but we don't quite have all the contours yet. And that's where this last step comes in. I'm gonna go back into our tool, uh, toolbox, and under the spatial analyst tools, we are going to uh, just use the surface analysis tool and under contours, we're gonna go in and hit our input raster as an elevation map, which we just created. And again, we're going to rename this contour uh, in our output features class. And then we're gonna do interval of one meter. So every meter, it'll draw a line. Now you can see that the lowest is 20 and the highest is 50. So we'll have 25 contours. Now you can adjust this as you like. Maybe for a bigger site, you want this to be a little bit higher. Uh, we're just gonna use uh, one for now. I'm gonna keep all of these the same and that should be good. Okay, so we're gonna hit okay. And ArcMap will generate nice contours for us. Okay, now that we have our contours, there's two things that we can do that'll help us a lot. First one is uh, to label each single contour. And you can simply right click on the contours layer that we have and just click label features. Uh, if you wanna change that up, you can hit uh, properties and then in the labels tab, you can change uh, how you want it to show up and how big it is. I'm going to turn this off to showcase the next one. So if you wanna highlight every five contours, uh, there is one way to do that and we're gonna open the attributes table. So in this table, uh, since there's not that many contours, I'm just gonna do this manually. Otherwise you would have to import a formula uh, into the calculator. But uh, our most bottom, our bottommost contour would be the 26. So we're gonna select this and then hitting control, we're just gonna select every five contours. So 26, uh, next one's gonna be 31, followed by 36 and 41 and then 46. Uh, I think that's it, there's no repeats here. Yep, so looks good. And we're gonna go ahead and just add a new field. So right here, add new field. Now you can name this anything you want. I'm gonna name it selection. And we're just gonna leave everything here as is. So once we have all the selection, uh, we have the selection tab created, we're gonna go ahead and right click and field calculator. And I'm just gonna type one. So this is gonna belong to category one. This is all the bold lines that we want to have. And what we're gonna do is select the selection. So we're gonna switch it. And it's gonna select everything else. And we're gonna do the same thing. Right click on selection, go to field calculator. And this is going to be selection number two. Now you'll see how this come in handy in a bit, but for now I'm just gonna deselect everything by clearing the selection. Okay, now we want to go into properties and in the display, sorry, symbology tab in the categories, we're gonna go ahead and add all values for the selections. So we're gonna switch over to selection, add all the values here. And now you can see that we can choose to change how it is displayed. So for the bolder one, which is our one, we can change it to a more bold black. And for two, uh, we can just change it to something uh, a little bit less in your face like this. And already you can see that there's a big difference and you can obviously adjust this to uh, whatever your preference is. So right now it's kind of a little bit too thick here. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to something like 0.3. And yeah, that's about it. So you can basically label the features and turn this on. And there you go, you have our contours, nice and ready to go. If you wanna export, simply go up to file and export the map into any of these formats. And that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you did, comment down in the section and then make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more future content. So I'll see you guys in the next one.